Today I'm going to show you how to create a long shadow here in Photoshop. First I'm going to make a special background, let's select the gradient tool. Let's go up and change it to a radial gradient and just pull it like this. Zoom out so you can drag this also down this dot and customize it however you like, something like that. I got to go ahead and double click on the white here, scroll down, increase the opacity to 100% and I got to go here, double click and I gotta change it to some darker gray, something in this nature, click OK. And I also can switch up the colors. For example, I gotta go with some darker blue, click OK, and I gotta click here, it's gonna add another color, double click and mix it up a little bit. And I gotta make the top one lighter. Yeah, maybe a pink, click OK. I gotta delete the background, right click on the gradient, convert smart object, let's go to filter, noise, add noise, I'm going to uncheck the monochrome. Now we're going to create the text, select the type tool, type in whatever you want, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it up and position it to the center, double click release. By the way, I used the Passion One font bold. It is a free Google font, you can download it for free and I'm going to adjust the distance in between the letters. I also got to go here and recolor the text with a nice orange, something like this. Click OK, right click on the text, convert to smart object, press Ctrl J to duplicate. I'm going to uncheck the first text layer and go to the second text layer and I'm going to double click, go to color overlay, I'm going to make this black, click OK, click OK and I'm going to activate the first as well. Make sure to select the bottom text layer and now we're going to go to filter, blur gallery and select path blur. Now I'm going to pull this arrow some like this and we're going to increase the speed and as you can see this motion blur is going all the way up and all the way down we don't want that so we got this checkbox here centered blur we're going to uncheck it and now it is going only at the bottom or how we want to switch that i'm going to adjust the speed and i also can go here to the arrow you can see this wheel you can increase or decrease mainly do the same thing and i'm going to also work on the taper this is going to make it even more smooth and more natural and then you can increase more the speed. Looking good, I'm gonna click OK. And if you wanna make it more intense, you can duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J again, and it's gonna intensify. And you also can decrease the opacity if you want. You can go to the opacity and maybe decrease it to 60, 70%. 64 is good to me. And this is how I make this a long shadow here on Photoshop. Thanks for watching.